No big decision that you're gonna make is gonna be free from fear or anxiety. Feel the fear, do it anyways, get the support of people who care about you, and go for it. Hi, I'm Laura from Taking a Leap, and I'm here with Megan Refuse from Shift Collab. Thank you for joining us and giving us your experience uh, coming into being an entrepreneur. So tell me what life was like before you started your business. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited today to share a little bit about my entrepreneurial journey and what got me into the role of being CEO today. And so I actually decided that I wanted to be a therapist when I was in my undergrad at Santa Vex University. I studied psychology. I wasn't sure if I wanted to go to grad school and take the leap to be a full-time psychologist, but I did know that I wanted to practice with people. Um, and then I decided to do my master's. I had some friends in social work school. It felt like a good fit for me. And I thought, you know what? I think social work is really what I wanna do. And so I finished my master's. I worked for a few nonprofits. At that time, I thought, you know what? I, I really wish that I was doing the job I always wanted to do. I really wish that I was a therapist. And I started to really consider how can I actually grow my skills as a therapist while having the buffer and the security of a full-time job. So what I did is I started taking courses, I started volunteering. All of my evenings and weekends were full of becoming a therapist. You started the business in 2016. You quit your full-time job? Yes. So eventually it basically became unsustainable to work a nine to five job while also working every evening and both days on the weekend. I started to think about, you know, long term, how am I going to cope with working full time and working in all the hour, other hours in the week? And I realized that that wasn't sustainable. And honestly, I actually had a situation that drove the, the decision for me. I ended up getting in a car accident in late 2015. Um, I ended up with a really bad concussion. And at that time, I ended up off work, off of my full-time job. Now, you talked about people you connected with. I assume they were sort of mentors to you. Can you can you just talk to me a little bit about entrepreneurs that you connected with? I think people would be really interested in knowing what that was about. I was able to connect with a group of women who um, support each other in growing their business. It's an organization called Dovetail, run by an incredible entrepreneur named Alexis. And she has really driven the idea that, you know, support is what grounds and builds healthy entrepreneurs. There's a quote that I often bring myself back to, and it is, alone we can go fast, but together we can go far. And often in the initial days of business, I often felt like I had to do it alone. And only when I realized that through hiring teammates who were really supportive and through speaking up about my work and through joining entrepreneurship support groups, uh, did I really understand what it meant that together we go far. If you were talking to somebody right now who is dragging their feet and afraid of taking the leap to being an entrepreneur, what would you say to them? I would say go for it. Take the leap. There will be difficult times and there will be um, incredible times. Entrepreneurship is what I like to call a both and. There are both tough times and easy times and there are incredible times and I say go for it and you get to live each day feeling proud of the work you're doing. This has been great. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Take the leap because there's so many entrepreneurs like me out here who are ready and willing to support you and are here to cheer you on.